I'm afraid Vermont Yankee might blow up, like an atomic bomb. That's impossible. Even Chernobyl didn't. It caught on fire and spread radioactivity in the smoke. Well, could that happen here? No, all U.S. reactors have containment buildings to contain radioactive material. What about Three Mile Island? The containment kept the dangerous radioactivity inside. Nobody was hurt. Okay. But I'm afraid Vermont Yankee will leak radiation and cause cancer. Radiation from Vermont Yankee is way too small to cause cancer. It's less than from a boatload of bananas. Bananas? Yes. There is natural radiation in the food we eat, the CO2 in the air we breathe, and from the sky. But what about the risk to my children from radioactive waste nuclear fuel? It's safely stored outdoors in a few concrete casks that will last for hundreds of years until the government decides to bury it or to reprocess it to make more nuclear fuel. Okay. But I don't trust Vermont Yankee. They lied about tritium in buried pipes. The managers said there wasn't any radioactive liquid in buried pipes. That's technically correct, but they should have added that there was some in pipes running in a concrete tunnel. That's almost a lie. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission found no fault with what they said. What's the Nuclear Regulatory Commission? Congress created the NRC to ensure the safety of nuclear power in the U.S. Why should I trust the NRC? The NRC has the skilled people, the regulations, the funding, the experience, and the responsibility to keep us safe. No one in the U.S. has ever been killed or injured by nuclear power. I still don't like it. It's not natural, like wind, solar, and biofuels. Wind, solar, and biofuels get their energy from the sun. The sun is a massive fusion reactor, making hydrogen into helium, releasing energy for sunlight. I know. Sunlight is natural. Supernovas are natural too. Eons ago, another sun burned up its hydrogen and then collapsed from gravity. It squeezed energy and mass together to make the elements that became Earth, including uranium. Oh. Why do we put uranium in a nuclear reactor? It splits the atoms, releasing the energy that nature's supernova squeezed in. I see. But nuclear power is expensive and green energy is free. Not really. Vermont Yankee nuclear power sells for about 6 cents per kilowatt hour. But wind energy sells for 20 cents and solar for 30 cents in Vermont. What dummy would ever buy such expensive power? Vermont requires utilities to buy expensive renewable power. They pay for it by increasing the price of power from Vermont Yankee and Hydro-Quebec. I still like green power. It's better for global warming. Actually not. It takes a lot of energy and resources to make and maintain wind turbines, solar panels, and wood-burning generators. When you look at the total picture for CO2 emissions, nuclear and hydropower are best. Well, let's use more hydropower. We already dammed the best river sites. But I want Vermont to be green. Vermont is already the greenest state, with the least CO2 emissions, because Vermont gets most of its power from nuclear and hydro. If I want, can I choose to keep using nuclear power? Maybe. In 1972 the NRC licensed Vermont Yankee for 40 years, renewable for 20. The NRC reviewed a license renewal application and will probably grant it soon. So if the NRC says it's safe, Vermont Yankee can run for another 20 years? Maybe not. The Vermont legislature voted itself the power to shut Vermont Yankee down, even if the NRC says it's okay. Vermont Yankee is in Vermont, supplying power to Vermont. Why shouldn't Vermont decide? Power crosses state borders, so it is regulated by the federal government. Vermont Yankee also supplies power to Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and New York. If Vermont defies the NRC, the outcome will be decided in federal courts. Well, if they do close Vermont Yankee we'll just have to replace it with renewable power. It's not possible. Wind and sunshine vary too much. Not even Denmark's wind nor Spain's sunshine provide more than 20% of their power. Can't we just buy more power from the grid? Not for long. Power blackouts will become possible because there won't be enough reserve capacity in the grid. The grid is really a consortium of regional electric generators and utilities. To preserve reliability the grid will require generators. So what would we have to do? 
probably install diesel generators, because it's quick and easy. In a few years, natural gas pipelines could be dug, new wells could be drilled and hydro fractured, and new natural gas generator plants could be built. Wouldn't that increase CO2 emissions? Yes, and also the cost of electricity. But these interim fossil fuel sources would later be replaced by wind, solar, and biofuels, right? No. They will always be needed for reliable power, when the sun does not shine, or the wind does not blow. So what will happen, if they shut down Vermont Yankee? Electricity prices will go up. Won't that make Vermont businesses less competitive? Yes. And CO2 emissions will increase as diesel and natural gas generators are put into service. And we'll import more foreign oil? Yes. Wind turbines will be built on mountain ridges, and forests will be cleared for biofuels. I don't like the environmental impact. And, billions of dollars of loans, guaranteed by taxpayers, will be spent to generate renewable power that costs way more than we pay now. I'm not certain we should close Vermont Yankee.